Look at this. It's 85. It's crazy. So I've like made 85. Wait, no. I started out making two videos a day. I've made over like a hundred videos. Just yeah. So um, I have to think of another challenge now. Making videos. It's never been really challenging for me because I don't take myself too seriously. I I hope you don't think I take myself seriously. Uh, I know these are substandard and that was a goal. <laughs> that was my aim at first. Yeah, getting started on a tangent. So this is Liz Carpenter and it's day 85 of my 15k for a 90 day challenge. Woo. Freaking who? Um, so, gosh, I shouldn't do these late at night when I'm all tired. <laughs> oh, context scratching my eye. So, today, um, oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you. Now, instead of a big to-do list on my little whiteboard, I just have two habits. <laughs> I have this reminder on the side. It's just two habits, which I'm kind of doing with the Don't Break the Chain. I've accomplished two days out of 365. <laughs> I'm excited because... Um, I feel different getting up in the morning, even though I'm getting up, um, pretty early, 4 a.m., and, um, I feel good about it. I don't, because I'm, uh, I feel good about it because I'm getting up to live the life of my dreams rather than, um, you know, whatever people normally get up to do, work. Get ready for work. <laughs> yeah. So, um, the Think and Grow Rich call today, uh, we commenced reading The Science of Getting Rich, and there's a pretty funny statement in there. I, I'm totally unfamiliar with this book. Um, so, one of the things the author says is being poor is a sin. And um, someone brought up later on the call, because it's, it's like a, a mastermind call. Why is being poor a sin? Well, and then observe the power of deduction here. If money is a value recreate, you raise your personal value, you raise your income. When you don't create value, that's the sin. And I truly believe, like, everybody was put here to create. We're creative, nat we're naturally creative beings. We're not creating it's something terribly wrong. So, yeah, there's the sin, not creating. Something else, um, what, it's, it's Wednesday. So I'm, I've been kind of late on watching E.T., the hip-hop. Preacher's videos, my my mailbox is totally backed up because I've been on task. <laughs> uh, my mailbox is like backed up. I haven't been on Facebook that much except like for a couple of minutes. Just to like, it's terrible. I'm missing things that people are talking about. I used to be like up to date on uh, like all my groups and stuff. <laughs> well, um, yeah, E.T. the Hip Hop Preacher had this video, um, of him speaking to the U.S. Navy base somewhere, and he's talking about how he did TGIM, and he had quit his job to do TGIM, and I hear, thank God it's Monday is the show, uh, his show on YouTube, 
And here I was thinking that um, that he was still working while he was doing that. And then something else that my sweetheart had said to me, because what I always imagine myself doing is writing and writing creatively um, lyrics, poetry, that kind of stuff. And he said, you're already a poet. And I was like, no, really. Because um, the focus for writers has always been, I want to be recognized and published by some company. And now I, I just have a different um, mindset about that. Like, gosh, I should be writing more poetry and just share it and not really care about the results. Just give my best to the world. That's what I learned from Eric. Because he said, well, the economy uh, was doing bad. We were in the recession and speaking is my gift. And I just wanted to give my best to the world. So I think that was like the like the big lesson of the day, if if anything. And I I've heard it from from Oprah, like some fancy quote before. Uh, give the world your best. Give your best to the world, and the world will give you its best, or something like that. But f just um, him putting it in the context of an actual life story um, speaks volumes. We um, at least to me, hearing his story. Ah, uh, he talked about his morning routine. The morning routine makes your life, makes your, breaks your life. Amen, brother. Ah, <laughs> uh, and, um, I added that little statement at the top, start with why, because my why it tends to go in and out of my mind, which is not good. Because <laughs> that's how I can stay off task for like hours and hours because I'm not focused on why I'm working, what I'm doing, why. And um, about attitude, he said to stay with I get to, not I've got to. <laughs> I get to great papers this week, yay! <laughs> so yeah that that's pretty much most of what I learned today and the, the rest I mean I skipped it over and um, going back is not going to help either of us so <laughs> maybe in another video so yeah as you can tell I'm totally just you know, going for the finish of this 90-day challenge. It's day 85. I'm freaking amazed that I can, you know, start any habit and keep up with it now. And it's a good thing. It's um something you should think about considering doing too. Because here I am, you know, and on the can I say crux? I don't remember right now what that word means. And I'm rambling. Next week, I will be officially certified with the John Maxwell team. So I'm going to be moving more into coaching and stuff. So I'm like, I need these, um, what do you call them? Uh, tools, yes. I need these tools and techniques, strategies, what have you, to be able to live them and then to, oh, I was about to run, give them. <laughs> need to live them and to give them. <laughs> and live them before you give them to your students. Yeah. So, this is a constant unfolding to who I am and uh, who I choose to be 
and I, I still feel like this is a product of empower because it, it's part of their philosophy or the culture be you or find out you be you and be paid to be you <laughs> be you and get paid for being you that's empower click the link <laughs> find out more um good stuff i'll see you in the next video